Hey, so we're here at the solarium, which is an overly uh, optimistic thing to call it right now because it's still just the garage, but eventually there will be this big sun porch on this garage and it will be a bunkhouse for visiting people with this lovely rocket heater that uh, the design that uh, Paul and I came up with uh, for uh, heating this space. It's an eight inch rocket heater uh, that is buried in sand to insulate it so it burns hot and stores a little bit of heat because sand is a mixture of mass and insulation. And uh, the, uh, the barrel here lifts right off the top so it's easy to clean down inside because it's connected to another barrel that's down low. The idea is to trap enough heat in this barrel and the uh, uh, and the gravel over here around the pipes with some rocks in it that it will stay warm uh, through the night. Uh, we'll see if it does that. Um, but these guys, uh, the crew, really busted this out. Made a lovely, lovely heater. Um, our friend Isaac Workman led that build uh, and uh, it really uh, it's really turned out nice there's some lovely work inside I think I've got some video of somewhere else of the guts of it uh, but the uh, this pebble bench is uh, Paul's favorite thing for uh, storing uh, heat the pipe comes out and comes down through and around and then up and out coming by and touching the barrel so that it gets a little bit of warmth to help pull the cold area through um, in case it's really cold in here which it might be because this is an uninsulated concrete floor so uh, this is going to be uh, a great experiment to see how well the pebble bench and the 8 inch rocket can do with a garage um, and uh, please uh, watch for more on unclemud.com we're headed out we're gonna go to a natural building conference this coming week and at weekend in Moab where hopefully Ooh. it'll be a little warmer and then Mesa Verde which is an excellent thousand-year-old natural building site and then on to more adventures. Stay tuned.